and we begin with Pat Mullane from Chepstow Amateur Boxing Club against Evan Laid from Abergavenny Boxing Club in a skills bout. And Richie, they're wasting no time in getting stuck into each other. Absolutely, and um, Laid needs to keep his uh, left hand a bit higher, a bit closer to his face because Mullane isn't reluctant to throw that right hand, sometimes sets it up with a jab and then a, a looping right hand over the top which is finding the target. There it is again. Well done, lads. Pat Mullane in the red corner, Ethan Laird in the blue corner. And we follow with Tom Jones from Pantside Amateur Boxing Club against Ashley Burton from Eastside Amateur Boxing Club. A minor bout fought over three one minute rounds at 31 kilograms. Richie, we can see here the boys, although maybe young in years, quite established in their stances and getting to grips with how amateur boxing works. Absolutely, Jones um, moving in and out, trying to obviously control the, uh, the distance and a lovely left hook as he steps in there. Um, Caught him flush in the face. Nice shot there by uh, Jones. The winner in the blue corner, Ashley Burton. And we continue with the second appearance for the night for Chapstow Amateur Boxing Club. This time Jesse Williams taking on Liam Walton from the home club, Pantside Amateur Boxing Club, in a minor bout at 36 kilograms. Richie, we can see. The boys, again, wasted no time getting stuck into each other. What, what are the lessons that they'll be taking from this? Well, it's very close action. Both of them are getting stuck in. Uh, Williams is looking to score with that left hook. You can see that he comes out of a low crouch. And, um, and you can see that that's a weapon for him. But they're both going for it, and it's a very even contest. The winner in the blue corner, Leon Walton. We're slightly heavier this time with 47 kilograms for a school's bout over fought over three one and a half minute rounds between Tyler Trim at Panside Amateur Boxing Club and Owen Scanlon from Eastside Amateur Boxing Club. Richie was seeing the boys here both trying to impress on the front foot. Yeah, definitely. Um, and Scanlon trying to control things maybe a bit more from distance with left rights. But of course, Tyler Trim, as you'd expect with Gavin Reese as one of his trainers, um, very aggressive, coming in a bit low and looking to score with big shots. The winner in the blue corner, Owen Scanlon. Alfie Early from Chepstow Amateur Boxing Club faced Evan Lloyd from Mardi Amateur Boxing Club, one of the busiest boxing clubs in the Ronda Valleys. And we're seeing here that, that proper amateur schooling, aren't we? Absolutely, yes. And uh, Brett Parry, great coach, and uh, I'm sure he would have wanted uh, his boy to work behind the jab and try to control the, uh, the space, the distance. You can see that he's on the back foot, and uh, Early's just trying to close that gap. Perhaps uh, Evan needs to keep his head up a little bit, but that lovely left-right combination finding the target there. And it's quite a clash of styles between a shorter boxer and the slightly taller with longer levers. Absolutely, yes. Um, but nevertheless, uh, both boxers uh, coping with their styles very well and both very aggressive. Nice work inside there from, uh, from Lloyd, going to the body. The winner in the red corner, Alfie Early. And we continue with Terry Mullane from Chepstow Amateur Boxing Club, welcoming our first visitor from over the bridge, Hayden Young from Lydney Amateur Boxing Club. We can see that Terry's got his Welsh vest on, Richie, cl clearly a talented amateur and neither looking to rush their work here. They're trying to pick their punches and work from range. Absolutely, both, both boys looking for opportunities. Um, when the action started, you could see that uh, Young scored with a lovely left hook, um, but Mullane countered uh, a few moments later with a lovely right hand through the centre. Although he was caught on the ropes again, I think with the left hook, uh, both boxers looking to obviously get on the front foot and cause some damage. The winner in the blue corner, Hayden Young. Please give a welcome to Tom Woodhouse. And in the blue corner, welcoming back our visitors. Tom Woodhouse on his home show, uh, representing Pantside Amateur Boxing Club. We're up at 46 kilograms for this against Clayson Young. Two very lengthy boxers, one trying to hold off the other, the other trying to broach, narrow that distance and uh, put the pressure on Richie. 
Very, very impressed with the jab of Young. You can see when the action started, two lovely left jabs, and he catches him again. Very, very firm, authoritative jab, and he's controlling the distance well, um, leaning back away from the punches and taking the sting out of them. I love that left jab. Very traditional straight shots. Nevertheless, obviously Tom is working side to side, looking to get his, get his shots off and, and push his opponent to the ropes. Nice right hand over the top there. Cole Pikulowski from Panside Amateur Boxing Club taking on Paddy Rooney from Trowbridge Amateur Boxing Club. We're down at 37 kilograms for this one, Richie, but there's plenty of fight in these two little lads. Absolutely, yes. Um, Rooney boxing on the back foot, Pikulowski just looking to impose himself, um, showing plenty of authority. However, um, Rooney certainly um, has some great footwork and uh, Pikulowski needs to pick his shots a bit more carefully, otherwise he's going to get picked off um, as the... Uh, as the rounds go on, we're seeing some, some very good cat and mouse action from Rooney and judgment, judgment of the distance. Absolutely, yes. Um, and, and he's trying to work that jab, I, I think, from the side court. Stands. The winner in the blue corner, Paddy Rooney. We're up for a junior bout in this one. Oshin Butterfield from Abergavenny. Amateur Boxing Club facing Milan Herko from Grange Amateur Boxing Club and he looks like a really powerful proposition here Richie. Marauding forward um, however I will say that I do like uh, the jab that's being worked and um, that's something you've got to be very firm with if you want to keep a kid like this off you um, and tie him up on the inside. I, I'm not seeing him tie him up too well but he's, he's working well at range, working that jab, keeping his guard nice and tight but uh, the boy from the Grange there throws a lovely left hook and finds the target. It's a real clash of styles, but you can see Milan really committed to those two-fisted attacks, especially when they near the ropes. Absolutely, yes, and um, there's a standing count correctly administered there. Um, obviously, um, we're in uh, territory here whereby he needs to work that jab now, make sure it's a firm, authoritative jab and keep him off. Lovely left hand there, um, fantastic southpaw um, shot coming from... Um, you can, see, you can see from Oshin, although he is uncomfortable, he is sort of present with what he's trying to do. There is method there. Oh, absolutely, yes, absolutely. Um, but Milan there, working the body, fantastic. You don't see too much of that in amateur boxing, I've mentioned it before. Um, but he went to the body, lovely there, which obviously he's doing to try to bring down the hands. And that was all the referee needed to see on that occasion. Newport meets Cardiff as Luke and Nat from Eastside Amateur Boxing Club faces Jaden King from Lan Rumney Amateur Boxing Club. Um, the boy from Lan Rumney there scoring with a lovely right hand over the top. Um, he's not shy with that right hand because it's scoring freely and he's not afraid to let it go. Both kind of settled at mid-range here, Richie. Both also firing off triggers just to try and activate the other one before they go in. Absolutely. Um, Nat needs to perhaps keep his head a little bit down. He's going backwards in straight lines and his chin's a bit high in the air. Um, perhaps um, if, if King just pushes on a little bit and sets up his shots with feints, he'll get a bit more success. He's bullied um, Nat to the ropes there and uh, as you can see, he's, he's quite happy to go to work. And the, just having a little word. And these are the type of valuable lessons that, you will, that amateur boxers will learn in these stages. Yeah, again, um, Nap um, holding, holding his head up and, and being caught with jabs on the wing. We go to see judges' scorecards and we have a unanimous decision. And the winner in the blue corner, Jaden King. We're here for a senior bout between Alex Gethin from Abergavenny Amateur Boxing Club and Solomon Khan from Grange Amateur Boxing Club in Cardiff. Both fighters trying to uh, establish that jab early. Um, fantastic jabs from the pair of them. Um, heads are held a little bit high again. Um, perhaps need to come over the front Ooh. foot a little bit. Fantastic shot and Gethin takes that well. Covers up well, keeps his guard nice and high. But he's caught on the ropes and he needs to work off there. 
no instinct in him to spoil the action or slow it down, Richie. He's still trading, he's still trying to fight his corner. Absolutely, yeah, and he's doing it behind the jab, which is lovely. Um, and he's now controlling the distance, and um, perhaps Suleiman has, uh, has blown himself out a little bit. He's um, perhaps slowed it down a little bit. He swings from the rafters there, though, with the left hook. And it's in those exchanges where they both throw at the same time, where the, where the biggest damage looks like it's going to come. And there it is, <clears throat> a right hand over the top from Suleiman. Absolutely, Khan, Khan looking for the right hand, swinging absolutely from his, from his heels with that left hook. Um, and obviously um, Gethin takes a, a standing count there, although um, he doesn't look too shaken. Um, he's quite happy, nodding at the referee, hands are up, and the action resumes. Another big right hand flies in, followed by a second. Referee might be taking a closer look at this, not because it's a mismatch, but just because they're really going for it and inflicting damage on each other. And there's a left-right combination, followed by a right hand. He can't really miss at this stage with that right hand. No, Gethin needs to definitely keep that, uh, that left a bit higher, a bit closer to his face. Sometimes he's pushing it a bit far in front of him, which is allowing Khan to come around the back of that lead hand uh, and, and score behind it. Um, perhaps just needs to keep it a bit closer to his face. It's enough for the referee on this occasion. 